I've been wide awake, I never sleep late Got a lot to do, I treat a Sunday like a weekday Do it for my son, set the table, I need three plates Have my cake and eat it, baby, don't forget a cheesecake Got it, yeah, they know I got it Confidence contagious, so the ones around me caught it Everybody waiting on me, hoping I'ma drop it I feel like all this weight is on the stop Alright guys, welcome back to Slop Squad. It's day two out here in McCall, Idaho. You can't start a sled day without wrenching on a sled, so we got a ski rubber we gotta replace, and then we're off to the van. That jump's pretty fun. Hit it, hit it, hit the jump. <laughs> Alright guys, so Captain Tolly said that the goal is to get as far as we possibly can. We've already went past our far mark here in McCall and now we're going to try to hit the trail, go as far as possible, hit snow that's been untouched and uh, we're going to be using Onyx to do that. We got Onyx off-road. I've been using Onyx for probably the past three years. Ever since I started snowmobiling, I've been using it because I was always sketched out about getting lost somewhere and not knowing where to go and trust me, we've been into a couple situations like that. So. Stay safe, download the Onyx app. There's a lot of cool features here. You can see terrain, elevation, and just like everything. You can find some really cool zones with Onyx. So there's gonna be a link in the description below. Check it out. Uh, with Onyx, you can download areas. So right now we have no service at all, but if you download the area at home when you have Wi-Fi, and when it's downloaded, when you go to the no service area, you can zoom in, see everything into good detail. So that's a really cool feature as well. Most of the time, I'm the only one who's tracking. And uh, I'd encourage you guys, everybody, to have the tracking going because there are situations where you might all need it. For example, I have a video, I'll have it in the link. Uh, I'll have it up above so you guys can check it out if you want to hear some panic in my voice. But uh, it's me going to... Uh, we went to Trestle and I got lost. And luckily I'm the only one tracking. So I knew exactly where I was, but I was the only one who pretty much got left behind, lost because of where we dropped in. Nobody else wanted to drop in besides Captain Tolly, which he got out. And uh, thankfully I had Onyx because I would have been panicking even more if I didn't know where the heck I was. Couldn't go back up, so. I think it's uh, very important that everybody in the group should have it, so don't be the guy that doesn't have it tracking or any kind of GPS tracking and then you end up getting lost and freaked out. Totally the high mark with a non turbo. Yeah. 
usually when you're being cocky, like me saying, I'll get the high mark, is when you screw up, so. not the high mark. That was lame. That works too. <laughs> it was on purpose. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looked like it was going to go on top of you. I didn't want it to land on the side on there, so I tried to get it like flat. <laughs> see us. Ed, we're on your left side. Where'd you go, Tony? Where you just were? I'm on the left. I'm just gonna go back there just in case.
I'm good. No, it's okay. I got it. Never mind, I don't want to waste my energy. Reverse over here. do that again but I want to get an angle like a video from that side I spy with my little eye somebody stuck uh, Dick you look like you're in a very fun spot I know very fun <laughs> Failed hop over. We made it to the end of uh, the trails here at McCall, at least one of them. And now we're exploring past the trail. We've never been this far before. My guess is we're about 35 miles up. What's up? Is that you yesterday? <laughs> He's trying to get his to wheelie like that, but he's having a hard time doing it. <laughs> Is it a 154? Yeah. 154 turbo. Use the tightness front track shock. Tighten that up, and it'll wheelie way more. Said he watched some of our videos. And then we meet him here again today. He's doing pretty good wheelies. I don't think I caught it on camera, but he's like wheeling up this whole thing. I can't do it. 
I don't think Coley can do it either on his turbo. Like that. Well, you guys take it easy. You as well. Yeah. Should be fun. We were coming out here not expecting much and we're glad it came out. Two other guys decided they didn't want to come. We're like, screw it. We haven't ridden in three weeks, they're so just gonna send it. <laughs> yeah, Peter. Yeah, he he has a fight actually today up in Bellingham, so he couldn't come out. Yeah, MMA. Man, the snow in here is freaking amazing. <laughs> Look how deep it goes. didn't go and I'm not gonna say any names long David <laughs> you guys suck <laughs> but <laughs> you guys are missing out we mind it. you know we wouldn't have never got this far with you guys here anyways. yeah you probably wouldn't make it so it's beautiful out here very nice it's like knee-deep snow plus a really good base so it's like it's, it's nice <laughs>
think that's high enough for me. I keep falling a couple more times. I bet I'd make it. But I'm the only one here right now. There's somewhere over there. And the last thing I need is to get mouse trapped. <laughs> Are you stuck? I go help Captain Tolly. Oh, that doesn't look very pretty. Two trees, one I'm, ski. Two trees, one <laughs> ski. Are we cutting both of them, right? No, we have to only cut one. Oh, just one. I got, oh. It's like a V, and I'm stuck right between the Oh, uh, I see that, yep. That's, look at that. So, <laughs> look at that scissor. Oh man, that's a bad stuck if, <laughs> if you didn't have a saw. <laughs> Literally, two right there, two right there, ski right in the middle. Nice. Can you easily use all this for firewood? Yeah, yeah, we could. Uh, it's still alive, can we? <laughs> one tree down, one sled up. <laughs> yeah. Cooker. I'm not fancy like Captain Tolly over there, but you have this. Yeah, Tolly's bougie. We're not bougie. I've been sitting for too long. I think my pizza's cold. Oh yeah, Tolly. I'm bougie too. <laughs> Get a little warm up in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> A little burn at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So I need a cooker, dude. It's too nice having this warm like that. This man's got everything. Freaking tea. <sighs> Is that nice on this day? nice on every day especially when you start off and it's five degrees outside yeah trying out the turbo cat well captain Tolly's trying out mine <laughs> Feel the power on the turbo. 
I can't side hill it that good though. What? Yeah, it's sketchy. Can you see the avalanches that hit over there? It's kind of fun right here. You can go fast, and it's a little bump. You can get a little bit of air. On this sled, I can feel the power. It just all up top. The down, it doesn't have the down low, and I can't side hill it as good. But the power at the top is pretty fun. <laughs> all right, guys, we're done. We're running out of fuel, so we headed back. So I still probably have another. I still have another hour or so of daylight, but we're out of fuel. I tracked on the Onyx how many miles we did. We did 65 and a half. So on the sleds, probably about 70 miles. Not bad at all. My turn to back in. Goodbye. I pause it.